Speeds on from the 1,000 meter marker. Kingsmead just jumped slightly awkward and that intimidated Jason Argo for a stride. Cold shots right there. Hello, Mister. Right there in the early stages. Shoot the bulls moving around. Runners to be prominent. Kingsmead now recovers towards the inside. Further back in the running, we find Quintella Coleman's on the outside. Hot Chili's about five lengths off them. Kept secret. Further back in the running, Delicious Damowin and Sarabi at the back. Kingsmead at the top of the lane, Jason Argo driven at second, shoot the bulls on the outside. Hello Mr. tries to come forward, Quintella lurks towards the inside. At the 300, Kingsmead the leader, shoot the bulls on the outside, hello Mr. and Jason Argo. A free striding Kingsmead still in front by two and a half lengths and Kingsmead with the blinkers on. Ashton Aries clear by two lengths out here and the gamble has been landed, Kingsmead has won it. Hello Mr. second, Elimish Damuin and then came Quintella. You heard from Dees and the guys downstairs, the gamble number six, Kingsme, the son of Cahol from the Michael Roberts stable, the blinkers on, the four kilograms off, came down neatly in the ratings and Kingsmead finds extra at the run down to the post. Pays up at 10 Rand 50, 340. Wins it. Second spot to Hello Mister. Delicious Damowins on the outside. Quintella Hot Chili. Sarabi shoot the bull next wave. Kept secret downfield. Then came Coleman. Kingsmead, he jumped out a bit awkwardly onto Jason Argo. He then started to respond to the inside and he skipped away coming to the 300. Number six, Kingsmead, he shot away from the opposition. This is for Dr. Labouchain, bred by the Kiel Foundation. Michael Roberts and the son of Cahol goes on powerfully with 150 metres to go. Starts to drift towards the inside, but he's got enough firepower in the tank to win. Well, number six, Kingsmead has come through to win, and uh, this horse was certainly not a 20 to 1 shot in this field, and rightly found the betting support. And it's nice when it all comes together because his post maiden form uh, was certainly a bit disappointing. But to tell us more will be his trainer, Michael Roberts, and nice to have Dr. Labashe on course as well. Come to Michael, let's have a chat. And uh, yeah, you know, I went on and on about this horse in that uh, preview because. There were so many things to like about him today, besides his rating, his draw, the claim for, and obviously the, the fact that you had the blinkers on. Yes, Dees, I wanted to give this horse every advantage, and I must say, I must say a big thank you to Brandon, but Brandon rode this horse last time for me at Scottsville, and uh, he showed a lot of speed, I wanted to drop the horse in, and he came back, he said, Michael, I think bring him back in trip. So I brought him back in trip, and uh, we, got, we got draw one here, and I thought just to help the kid, uh, we'll put a pair of blinkers on him, you know, just for that early part of the race. And I gave him a, a workout blinkers on the at home, and uh, you know, really went well. Uh, I was in there, my assistant Steve was there, and he said, you know, I think we must keep the blinkers on him, you know. And uh, um, I must say, um, Ashton rode a lovely race on him, you know. I think he's a kid for the future, and I mean that's why I'm using him, and hope he doesn't lose his full kg too soon. Uh, and a big thank you to Doc uh, Lavache, you know, and. Uh, this was lost his way um, after his first win a bit, but uh, he always showed me an ability, you know, and um, and, to, and tonight he showed me that you know what he's made of. He was also high up in the ratings, Michael. At an 80, what was he at? I think it was an 86. Yes, it was yeah. an 86. These a lot of my horses, you know. Unfortunately, you know, um, I've been fortunate enough, from, you know, for my owners, they've been winning a bit, bit earlier on that 
they usually do and the, you know the handicapper was a bit hard on them and you know you can see even you know was just like the king of random sure. and, a, and a few others of them you know now that and c tops another one exactly you know now they've dropped these seven eight pounds in the handicap and then you know obviously then the four kgs of well which help uh, you know that you know they run more to their ability you know it's not that uh, they're they not that good it's just that they're still immature they're young horses and they're taking old uh, campaigners which are you know sharper and they're much stronger than them at you know this time of the year to be honest with you you know and uh, Kajal started to bred him, you know, well done uh, to Mr. Benson. And uh, no, great. And my staff, thank you. And once again, Doc, well done. Thank you. Well played, Michael Robert. Let's get young Ashton in now. Ashton's busy talking to Ms. Costa and uh, Dr. Labuschagne. Did you listen in to that interview with uh, Michael Roberts? Uh, yes. Uh, did, did you hear what he said, M Mr. Michael Roberts, the great Mace Roberts? No, not actually. I'll, I'll tell you what he said. To come from Mace Roberts, this is something that you need to digest and take with you in your career. He said, this young man, I think he's got a future. Now, coming from the great Michael Roberts, that must really warm your heart. Yes, sir. I just want to say a big thanks to Mr. Roberts. He's been giving me the opportunities, and I've been riding the winners for him. And well done to the owners. Nice uh, to have uh, uh, Mr. Michael Roberts you know, say such lovely things about you, because you're still so young in your career. Yes, sir. I'm actually very proud of myself and also, again, big thanks to Mr. Roberts. The race, you went to the front, there were a few that were fighting for position as well? Yes, uh, I had uh, Jason Argo on my, in, on my outside. The, he was, uh, Sermon was trying to get there, but I went a bit to the front because I saw my horse can get there easy and he just kept rolling. Do you watch the, at the end of every race day, we have a star of the day, do you watch that? Yes, sir. I do. Well, I can tell you, you are the star of today. Well done, Aston. Thank you very much, sir. Well done, Aston Aries. Let's get Dr. Labuse in, and uh, he's having a nice run with these uh, horses. We saw my pal Al the other day, but this win was a big win because this horse has returned to his best form. These a great surprise. He won first time out. The horse actually was chosen by Andrew Bonnet, one of the sales, and he said it was the best horse of the sales. But ever since the first win, he's been an absolute disaster. And for us today, it's been a wonderful surprise. I think maybe the Blinkers did some good for him. And the young man, he was uh, cool in his ride? I think he's a superb youngster. He's got a long way. He's come a long way, and he'll go a long way. He's got a very level head. He understands horses, and I'm sure he's got a great future ahead of him. Well, also, brilliant words for the young man. I hope he's got this interview taped and listens to it at the Academy. This is one of our elder statesmen that has just said something nice about you, Ashton. But Dr. Labuschagne... Well done, too. Well, I wish him well in the future. Thank you. Well done. Lovely. That's uh, Dr. Labuschagne with number six, Kingsmead and Ashton getting all the accolades here. Well done to the young man. And, uh, well, I've just uh, battled to write all the numbers down here, screaming the six home, but it's six, five, seven, and ten. Six, five, seven, and ten. And now to our draw. It is the Bry Zone. We've got Tess here with us. I don't know where's Heinrich. He's busy brying in the, in the rain. So, Heinrich, uh, Tess, you're going to help us, and it's that 500 rand betting voucher as usual. Claim before the last race must be used this evening. If you bought that the Bry Zone, well done, but I've got the winner. Tarion, we've got your number, Tarion. Uh, you can come and collect your betting voucher, 500 rand, from the general office to my left. Thanks to Tess for coming down and assisting us with that Bryzone competition. But well done to Kingsmead and the winning connections, race number six.